For a standard normal distribution, find the probability that z lies in between negative 1.5 and 0 0.94. What exactly is this problem asking? Well, let me draw a picture to kind of demonstrate. So we have our standard normal curve. We have our mean that lies straight in the middle of that normal curve. And what we're looking for is we are looking for the probability that z lies in between these two values. What is z equal negative 1.5? Well, that means we are looking for negative 1 and a half standard deviations away from the mean. So somewhere around in here, we'll have negative 1.5. And we are looking for the value of the area under the curve in between negative 1.5 and 0.94, which is almost one standard deviation on the right side. So we have 0.94 or 0 0.94 on the right and negative 1.5 on the left. And we are looking for the area in between those two bars. We will use the chart below to help guide our work. Let's start with the right side. Namely, let's start with the area that lies right here under the curve to the right of the mean. Notice our table below actually gives us those values for the area under the curve for a given z value. In our particular case, our z value we're going to start with is 0 0.94, and we're looking for that shaded yellow band. So we go to the table and we find z equal 0 0.9. So 0 0.94, 0 0.9, and then 4. So we look at the horizontal row, 0 0.9, and the vertical column, 0 0.04. And putting those two together, we find that the area under the curve corresponding to z being 0 0.94 is 0 0.32639, or in other words, 32.639% of the area under the curve is shaded right there in that yellow band. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the other side. So now we're going to take the band on the other side over here on the left side of the mean we want to calculate the area that corresponds to that band. The z value we're looking at this time is negative 1.5. Now our table doesn't have negative values, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and find it as if it was a positive number because we have the symmetry involved on both sides of our mean. So we're just going to look for z being 1.5 because the area on the right side and the left side of the mean would be the same. So let's find the area of that band corresponding to z equal 1.5. Looking on our chart, we have 1.5 and 1.50. So we are going to take the intersection of the horizontal row at 1.5 and the vertical column at 0 0.00. And that area for that orange band is represented by 0 0.43319. To get the total area then in between negative 1.5 and positive 0.94, we would have to take the sum of those two values. We will take 0 0.4. 3319, and we're going to add that to 0 0.32639. And when we add those values together, I get 0 0.7958, or the probability that z lies in between those two values is 0 0.75958, and that's our answer.